Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Breathing space. That's what social service agencies gain from the largest meth seizure in Manitoba's history, according to Rick Lees of the Main Street Project. We'll hear more from Lees in just a moment, but first here's Riley Laychuk with what RCMP revealed today. Drugs, cash, vehicles, and a motorcycle. RCMP touting this bust as a major impact on organized crime in Western Canada, with dozens of officers searching nine properties last week. A lot of the takedowns, the, the search warrants that we executed were in normal residential suburban neighborhoods and that surprised a lot of people. RCMP Assistant Commissioner Jane McClatchy says Project D-Class began last August when a 40 kilogram shipment of cocaine was intercepted at the U.S. border. It came to a head last week with the searches of seven properties in Winnipeg, one in St. Laurent and another in Calgary. 11 people, including a full patch member of the Hells Angels, have been arrested so far each facing numerous drug-related charges, police sending a warning about drugs and outlaw motorcycle gangs. When you see an outlaw motorcycle gang member riding or wearing their patches, please think about the destruction that meth is having in our province because the two are undeniably linked. RCMP say more than 20 kilograms of meth and 40 kilograms of cocaine were seized, estimated at a street value of more than $6.5 million. The meth alone, police say, could have translated to more than 220,000 individual hits. Police and the province's justice minister say this amount of drugs off the street will save lives. By seizing this volume of illicit drugs, it will have a, a net positive impact to so many families here in Manitoba. I think we actually saved some lives here. RCMP say they are still working to determine where the drugs came from and haven't ruled out further arrests. Riley Lechuk, CBC News, Winnipeg.